Today we're going to talk about some different array types we have inside PHP, because in the past, all we've talked about so far has been a type called indexed arrays. Now when it comes to arrays inside PHP, we actually have three different types. We have indexed arrays, we have associative arrays, and we have multidimensional arrays. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm just going to briefly introduce these three different types, and then in the next two episodes we're going to talk more in detail about associative arrays and multidimensional arrays. So when it comes to arrays, at least the type we know about so far, we have a variable called something, which is equal to an array. And in this example, I have Daniel, John, and Jane as data inside this array. Now, if I were to spit out the first data, which is Daniel, I would actually need to echo out variable data, brackets, and then I need to give it the index number of where the data is inside this array. So in this case, because we start from zero, one, two, if I want to spit out Daniel, I need to write zero inside my brackets here. Now, this is all good and fun, but what if I want to make this a bit more easy to pull out, at least when it comes to understanding what exactly is inside this array, then we can use something called an associative array. Now, the basic idea behind an associative array is that instead of writing zero inside the brackets, we can actually name the data. For example, the array I have down here that has the first name, the last name, and the age of a person. I can actually go ahead and name these pieces of data, for example, first, last, and age. And I can simply give this key, like we call it, a value. So that's basically what an associative array is. When it comes to a multidimensional array, it's when we have an array inside an array. So as you guys can see here, I actually have an array. And then the first data inside this array is actually another array. Now, of course, you can actually mix this with regular data like we have here, like John and Jane. But the basic idea behind these is that we have an array inside an array. So what I'm going to do in these next couple of episodes is I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an example of associative arrays and multidimensional arrays and how to actually spit out the data from these types of arrays, because these will get useful, especially the associative array and the multidimensional array compared to what we have up here, because this is a very basic array that we don't really use that often when it comes to real websites. We actually use these down here more, especially when it comes to pulling out data from a database. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.